All right, we're here on MSUEagles.com with head softball coach David Williams to wrap up the 2013 season. So the team went 24-25 and overall and 10-14 and in conference. So talk a little bit about the progression of the team starting in February briefly up until the conference tournament last, se- or last week. Well, you know, we kind of started out a little slow, trying to figure out combinations, kind of get used to playing with each other, those types of things. As we got more game experience, we continued to get a little stronger, uh, work through certain situations. Um, offense definitely got stronger. Uh, some of the pitching that we saw towards the end of the year, we hit very well. A lot of that was because we saw some good pitching early in the year, but we continued to progress offensively. So when we got to the conference tournament, we were able to hit the ball really well, put it in play. Um, obviously, offense was a, was a strong point for us all year, um, but I really think there was a big progression there as well as some defensive situations, getting out of certain things, and, and, and really just kind of moving forward. We played really well um, the last probably month of the season, and uh, we were really starting to kind of click on everything. We're just we're coming up short in a few games, but uh, as far as overall progression from where we started to where we finished, I think we made vast improvements. And you mentioned the, the hitting and the batting average on the team was the highest in the conference after the regular season. So finishing the regular season at 311 this season, 275 in 2012, what can you attribute that improvement to? Well, you know, I think a lot of it was just having some some veteran players. Um, they had been, you know, with us for uh, two years now, um, kind of got used to things. The way we do hitting, we practice hitting a lot, but we do a lot of drills. Uh, we really work on it every day, and we, we really concentrate on certain specifics. Um, but we also try to give them as many looks as we can at live pitching so that they're used to seeing uh, the pitch out of the pitcher's hands, reading spins, those types of things. I think um, just a lot of preparation we did preseason and then even during season as far as making some minor adjustments really contributed to our overall team average of 311. All right, and going to the conference tournament this season after having missed out last season, unfortunately the team went 0-2, but it never seems to be a team that gets discouraged or you know, gets their head down in situations, which shows with a couple come from behind victories this season. So talk a little about, a bit about the attitude that this team had throughout the season. Well, I think the expectation was to win. I think, you know, we got to the point where we were able to compete in games and then we were winning games, and I think the expectation was to win. And I think one of the greatest things is I think we got through to the team this year that we could play with anybody. Um, You know, we wound up uh, losing eight, one-run ball games and five two-run ball games, um, and I think uh, another seven by three. So we're talking about 20 games right there that are all three runs or less. Um, we always have a chance. We're in those games. Um, so the expectation was to win, and we competed hard. I think the next step as we move towards next year now would be just to make sure we secure those victories. But, um, you know, we always knew with our offense we had a chance. We were always in games. Um, we just needed to find a way to close out some of those. All right, moving on to some specific players. Amber Riddle earned first team all-conference, and her and Kayla Ashbrook were named to the all-conference teams by College Sports Madness. So talk about why those two players were worthy of those honors at the end of the season. Well, I'd have to say a lot of it's, I mean, they both had good batting averages, but I think a lot of it would have to be with their power numbers. Um, You know, they both had a good number of home runs, a lot of RBIs. Uh, I know in uh, Kayla's case, she scored quite a few runs as well. Um, Amber got walked a lot, you know, so her own base percentage was really high. So I would say that a lot of that is just a tribute to their offensive numbers overall. Um, Not just a batting average, but home runs, doubles, RBIs, runs scored, all the things collectively that they did for our offense. Um, You know, we got really solid play out of both of them defensively as well. All right, we've discussed throughout the season the seven seniors that you're losing after this year, and briefly about the newcomers that are coming in for next season. So tell us what we can expect from the Eagle softball program in years to come. I don't know. I mean, offensively, I don't think it's going to be much different. Um, We've got some really good players that are returning. I I feel we have some really good players coming back. Um, You don't ever want to uh, use the phrase replacing um, because I don't want to feel like we're replacing people. I would rather say we're trying to reload. Um, I think offensively we can be able to mix and match and do some things next year. My, my biggest concern is not necessarily, um, you know, having a 350 hitter here, a 350 hitter there, but as long as the team average is at 300 next year, I think we'll be extremely consistent offensively, and that's the goal. So if we can get 
everybody to the point where we've got a good 300 team average, just like we had this year. Um, and we can produce runs, manufacture runs. I think that we're going to be able to do that. Um, I would say we might be a little faster next year, a little bit more speed. So we might try to do a few more things uh, offensively that we didn't do as much this year um, with stolen bases and, and trying to stretch out a single to a double or some things like that. But, um, you know, offensively, I wouldn't say it's going to be much different. Defensively, I would say we want to improve on that, you know, and be a little bit stronger. We improved this year by 10 points defensively, but I want to continue to improve on that. Um, and then pitching, we want to continue to improve as, improve as well. And, and losing someone like Katie Posting through 200 innings, that's, that's, a, that's a tall measure. So we've got to find people um, that can step up and fill those roles. We've got two returning pitchers. We've got two coming in right now. So, you know, hopefully out of those four, we can, we can fill those roles that uh, Katie filled for us. And um, hopefully we continue to progress. You know, we talked about the expectation was to win um, this year. The expectation next year has to be getting those wins, securing those wins and closing out games. All right, well, we look forward to seeing the, the Eagles in 2014, so we wish you a successful offseason and good luck in the future, and thanks for chatting with us. Thank you.